Hello everyone and welcome today um, to Get In Tune. Today we're going to do another cartooning for kids and I think today this one's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I thought we'd draw a cartoon scene today. A little scene, something simple, nothing crazy. And I thought we'd draw a dog running. So let's start with the dog's eyes. We're going to draw two ovals, kind of egg shapes, one overlapping the other. So we draw one big one first, and we're going to have his eyes. We're going to fill in the dots right there. Okay. Now we're going to draw a curved line like so. And a circle there. I'm going to put a small circle there and color in the rest. Leaving that little white space makes it look like there's a shine on the dog. And then I'm going to give him a big curved line coming up. Now I'm going to add an extra one right here because that's part of the dog's snout there. Now this dog is going to be happy that he's running. So I'm going to put a big curved line. Actually, I don't like that line. Let me redo it. I'm going to have a curved line like that. And then we're going to open his mouth. And his tongue is going to be hanging out of his mouth. So I'm going to draw a curved line. And then another curved line. And we're going to just bring it all the way. So you see how it looks like his tongue is going backwards already? And then I'm going to draw two lines like so. So what I've done here is this inside line shows the inside of his mouth, which I can color in. And the other side shows just a little bit more of his, of his mouth. All right, just fill this in. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best. And I'm going to draw another curved line, kind of like this, to show the other side of his, the bottom of his lip. After I do that, I'm going to create another curved line. That's kind of his cheek. I'm going to draw two thick eyebrows up here. They're kind of like rounded rectangles. Or even triangles like I did on this one here because it kind of comes down to a point. Right? And then I'm going to make a big floppy ear going back. So it's just a couple of curved lines. And if you want, you can color that in or wait till you have crayons and color that in a different color. I'm going to wait to color it in, although I'm probably going to just make it this pencil color. And then I'm going to draw a line down here to connect it to the head. And because he's running, he's going to have a little hair on top, and the hair is going to go backwards. So I'm going to draw one, two, and three. I'm going to give him some whiskers as well. So I'm going to draw a couple of dots in there. That's where whiskers would go. And if you want, you could draw out a few. You don't have to draw all of them. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him two lines for his neck. And then this big curved line like so. This is going to be the top of his collar. And to show the rest of it, we just draw a rectangle. Now to draw his body... We're going to start with the top of his body, and it's going to be this wavy line like that. All right. Now with his legs, we'll get back to that. I want to draw his legs next. We're not going to see all the legs because the tongue is so big. So we're just going to see a couple of lines right here like that, and then a big oval connecting it. Kind of looks like a golf club. And then I'm going to draw a big curved line right here. 
And we're not going to make this look like a real dog's legs. It's going to be more cartoony. So we're going to draw out a curved line like that and a curved line like that. Now, once you have that, we create the foot again just by drawing a curved line like we're making an oval. Okay. Now, this is only one side. We've got to see the other side of his, of his feet. But let's first draw his tail. So if we were to continue here, you're going to see his tail follow and then come down. Actually, you know what? I don't like that. I'm going to do, and the way I'm going to fix that, I'm going to do a little erasing here because the way the legs should come off is should go directly kind of into the tail. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. All right. And that looks a lot better. And inside the, the feet, I'm going to draw a couple of curved lines to show his toes. And we're going to do just double up on each side. And maybe we're going to see one line, one line here. And we'll do the same thing over here. And this one, we might see two lines still. Actually, I don't like that. I think we'll do just one line. So let's bring it right over there, maybe. All right. So you see how it looks like that dog is running? Now, where do we want him running? You know what? Let me center him first. Hold on. Give me one second. I did something a little foolish on the computer here. Um, I could fix that. Hold on. And I'm just doing something very quick. It was my fault. I didn't set up my file right on the computer. I'm, I'm setting it up right now for it. And delete. Now, the reason I did that is so I can move the dog on the paper a little better, on my screen a little better. So I'm just going to center him. It does, yours doesn't have to be centered. I just want the room to draw right now. All right. And what I want to do is I want to draw a background for him. Now, he could be running in his backyard. He could be running in the city on the sidewalk. He could be running in a park. It doesn't matter. I think what I want to do is I want to make it look like he's running in a yard or, or a park. Let's do his yard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. Oh, yeah, let's draw a line right here. And you stop when you hit the when you hit the dog. And then kind of come out around the same area if you can. And it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just go to the end. Now what I've done here is I've created the ground. And I'm going to add a little scribble underneath because this creates his shadow and it makes it look like he's off the ground. If the shadow was touching him, he would be on the ground. I'm also going to add what we call action, uh, uh, sorry, motion lines, the line of action, something we will talk about another time. Motion lines is to show speed. And there are just a couple of lines like that. Maybe we put a couple of curves in there. We could even make it look like there's clouds and if we put the clouds on the bottom, it looks like he's kicking up dust. And we could even draw it. He's moving that fast. Okay. Now, let's add some grass to it. So what I like to do is just make some scribbles like so. I'll even put some in the background here. All right. Maybe I'll add a bush and we'll make a bit we'll make a big bush over here. And to do that, it's like making a cloud on the ground. All right, and maybe I'll do another one a little higher just to make it look like there's something back there, right? And by adding these little bumps that I'm doing, it makes it look like there's texture, like there's something in the in the background that there's layers to it. The next thing I want to do is I want to draw 
a straight line, as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect. And I'm just going to draw it until it goes to about there. And then I'm going to draw some lines coming down. Okay, and as I draw the lines coming down, I want to try to try to keep them as equal in space as possible, but it doesn't matter if you do or not. And it can start right at the top. Okay, and what I've done here is I've created a fence. If we draw a little kind of lines in here. It doesn't have to be perfect the whole time, maybe a little not. It looks like it's a wood fence. By adding these little lines, I create texture. And it doesn't have to be in every single one or detailed or look the same in all because wood looks different, right? But I like to keep it a little wavy so it looks different than, than what um, the regular lines dividing up the the fence looks like. Okay. So there's a dog. He's in a, in a backyard. He's got a fence there. Now watch what I do over here. I'm going to add a triangle. Or a, what I can see of a triangle. And then I'm going to add in a line down. It's starting to look like a house behind the fence. And I'm going to add some little triangles here. This is um, part of the roof. It just adds a little texture to it. And I can draw some lines on the bottom of that coming out. Um, I can put a window right here by making a square or rectangular shape. And then put smaller squares inside and here's a fun little technique if you add a couple of lines to what would be glass or a mirror it adds kind of a reflection to it so it looks a little shiny all right another thing we can do is we can make what looks like a cloud but it's not it's an upside it looks like an upside down bush that's a tree. That's the top of a tree. And we can add those same pieces that we did to a bush. And we'll draw a couple of lines like this and a line going like so. And we draw a little texture in it. Not a lot. We don't want it to blend in with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, with the fence, right? So we draw, and so there's a tree in the neighbor's yard over by the fence. Right, and then maybe I'll just draw a cloud in there, okay? Now, the dog's looking at something. He could be chasing something. I don't know what. Use your imagination. But if you want, let's, let's finish up the dog. Maybe we can... Uh-oh, what's going on here? Um, give me one second. I'm having a little computer glitch. Okay, that works. And now, hmm. Well, my my tool stopped working, but if you want, you can give spots to the dog. You can color in his ear. You could do whatever you want. Add whatever colors you want to him. Um, oh, there, it started working again. So, like, I'm gonna add. Oh, it's not working right there. Interesting. Oh, I know why. Never mind. So we're going to add some spots to him, right? We can color those in. I'm going to color in his ear. And I'm not going for perfection right now. You do your best. I'm even going to maybe give his tail a little bit of color. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of thickness right here and some lines. And that shows a shadow. You know, one thing I didn't do to the dog, which I think is always fun to do, is a dog usually has a lot of saliva, right? They, they drool a lot. So if we draw a shape, a little wiggly thing like this, and then draw some in that direction, 
and then maybe one off. It looks like he's he's drooling as he runs. It adds a little humor to it. All right. So the last thing you do, and we should do this on every drawing, and I don't know if I've said it before, is sign your work and date it. All right, guys. So that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching and tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for joining me.